C section number four, which is the plug flow reactor. So if you remember, it's essentially a tubular reactor. You have F of A here, you get them here, they mix and they, I don't know, maybe transform into another substance here. And you get a different outlet here. So of course we're going to see this reactor in isothermal conditions. Uh, we're going to see two types, the liquid one and the gaze phase one. Uh, once again, I bring you the methodology. We've seen batch reactors, we've seen continuous steer tank reactors in series and in parallel, and we've seen also first and second order reactions. And it's time to analyze and study PFR, plug flow reactors. Essentially the same methodology. You start here, you get the mole balance for your reactor. Now using your reactor, you convert everything to conversions since it's the first, or it's only one reaction. Once again, I tell you, this is, conversion is very recommended to use when you have one reaction. Now, if you remember from chapter two, we got the rate of reaction in function or as a function of conversion. So you, we could go directly and evaluate the equations and all the area. Uh, we saw also that if you don't have it, so that was in chapter 3, you could determine it by a rate law and since this is con a function of concentration, you will need to use stoichiometry tables depending on what type of reactor you're using, if it's a constant volume or is it changing volume, whatever. Now this part right here, we don't actually need it because we don't normally have pressure drops, especially in liquid phase, we have rarely or not that big pressure drop. So ignore this part right here and yeah essentially we're going to follow this path here and then go here. We need to combine the rate law with stoichiometry tables and our design equation. So once we do that we evaluate the equations, we solve for the problem and of course analyze your answer and get your final answer. Now Let's talk about the liquid phase PFR. We will analyze two cases I told you before, the first order and the second order, which is essentially this one and this one here. We need to get the terms in uh, we need to get the equations in terms of conversion and if possible the damp color number. Assumptions of the liquid phase PFR, well you have a plug flow profile. So instead of having this here, like the normal profile, typical curve side, you have almost zero speed here and highest point here, we have a plug. So all the profile is like this. When is this possible? When you are super turbulent or your stream is super turbulent. Now we have no dispersion on radial gradients, so let's say the temperature doesn't change if you're in the center or in the wall near the wall uh, the velocity also we have I told you before it doesn't depend on the radius and the concentration doesn't change now we have no pressure drop and it's isothermal operation of course it's a steady state because it's a PFR continuous uh, reactor and we have constant volume or density I think the that's the main difference with the gases or the gas phase PFR. Now I remind you how is the reactor. You have an inlet, you have an outlet, you have a rate of reaction, you have probably a conversion, and your reaction. So let's start with the rate of reaction of first order. You have your rate of reaction here, and by definition, it's the constant times the concentration. Now this one here is our design equation. It does not depend on the rate. So if, if it is first order or second order, this is still our design equation. If you don't have any idea where we got this, go back to chapter two. We got that in that uh, topic. Now, the first thing I want to do is to substitute this value here with this one here. So I got it here. You can see everything. The flow of A at the beginning is just here, outside the integral, dx here, okay. Now I'm going to do two things. 
first thing of all I want to change this concentration in terms of conversion. I use this formula here, remember initial concentration and the difference of conversion. This is a constant so your new variable will be conversion. But not only that, I want to change this right here, my flow. So I got this. The k is a constant, I can take it out. The volumetric flow stays here, the constant here, and I have this here. You will see that the constant, well actually, I just jumped this. But as you can see, this is a constant, so I can take it out. And it's the same constant here, I can take it away. So I'm left with volumetric flow rate and the constant. But not only that, I send them to the left so I can have my integral alone here. Now, by definition, this part right here is the space time here. My k is here. And I solve this with a table of integrals. So it's essentially just the negative logarithm of this part right here. And I need to evaluate from 0 to x. Once again, I do this. You know this. You will get that. This thing right here, check it in your calculator, the logarithm of 1 is 0, so actually you could just ignore this part. Mathematically, it's this part right here. Or if we want volume, we can get it like here. I really prefer this one because we're going to play with it. It's actually the damn color number for a first order differential equation. And if you wanted to solve for x, you get this. Right, this part right here x equals 1 minus the exponential of minus k tau. Now, that was first order. We are going to analyze later. Now, second order, PFR in liquid phase will be the same. You have the same inlet, outlet, reaction, but this time is second order. What does the second order mean? It means that it depends to the second power here. Now, my volume equals this part exactly the same process but I substitute here the concentration to the square I will substitute the same data here as I did before also concentration I need to change it into conversion and the thing here is that I have to the square so that's why I have to the square to the square here I substitute this data here remember the k was supposed to be here but I'm just taking it out and I get this the concentration is to the square, so when I take it out, I will get concentration to the square, and this is only to the first power, so this goes out and this two goes out. That's why, as you can see, it now depends on the initial concentration. Now let me solve this. I used a let's say a table of integrals. I got this. As you can see, this is the solution of that integral. And then what else I did, well, okay, take out the negative sign here, okay. And I just solve for x, it's easy, and I got this equation. So as you can see, we have still the tau times k, tau tam, times k, and the concentration. So what's the conclusion on this liquid phase PFR? Uh, it is easy because the volume is constant. So playing with the integral is not that much problems, and especially the concentrations, since the concentrations have constant uh, volumes, so you know concentration is actually moles per volume, and this volume is constant, we can actually l do easy mathematical processes. The only problem that I see is the integral, so let me go back. This thing, maybe you don't know how to solve it, or if you're in an exam, you get blocked or you have no idea how to solve it, well, that's only mathematics, it's no problem. And I think many calculators can actually solve that, so I think the worst part is the integral. And if I were you guys, I'm not going to show it, but, or maybe I show it in the web page. Web page here, go here, to courses, chemical engineering, and then go to reactor engineering. Uh, check it for zero, it, will, it should be easier, and third, it's a little bit more complex, but still easy because of the concentration being or having a constant volume. I'm not going to solve, yeah, I'm not going to solve any problems because this is, uh, as we did before in chapter two, it's not that different at all. 
The interesting part is when we start analyzing gas phase PFRs. So once again, you need some problems, probably you will find them here in the back of this chapter 4. I also included some extra problems and exercises if you want to check them. Just go to my webpage, courses, reactor engineering, solve problems, and you will find everything in here. So the next one will be gas phase P. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.